What's up guys? Welcome back to The Decent Garage. So I know many of my viewers and followers are seasoned mechanics, um, and that's great. I love uh, getting their input and having them help out with me on the channel. But I also know a lot of the people who watch my videos are not seasoned mechanics and maybe even feel a little intimidated about taking on some of the projects that I introduce on the channel. Many of you novice mechanics may have some of the basic tools, some ratchets, some wrenches, and some screwdrivers. I want to introduce some tools that uh, maybe you haven't seen or heard of and maybe you don't know how to use them. And I'm going to tell you about them, why you need them, why I bought them, and show you a few instances of when I have needed to use these tools just to give you some examples. So with that, let me introduce to you the tool I'm gonna to show you today. So this I bought on Amazon for $20. And I will put a link to this in the description below if you want to order this one. But having something like this is a good idea. You don't have to use the exact one that I bought, but I'll provide that link for you. So what this is, it's a little ratchet and it comes with a bunch of different bits, flatheads, Phillips, um, Torx, square, even uh, hex, and a couple that I don't even know what they're used for. It also comes with an adapter for a couple of the sockets that come with it. My purpose for buying this tool was more for using some of these bits. There are a few instances working on my trucks where I've needed to get into a tight spot for a Torx, a hex or even a Phillips, there wasn't enough room for a screwdriver or for a socket with a ratchet to fit in there. So this tool, what it does is it keeps a very low profile. So if I put this Torx bit in here, you can see I can get this into a space of about an inch. And the nice thing is, is this has a magnet in there that holds the bit in there, okay? So I can get in there and I can either loosen it or you can switch it and tighten it. Now, before I bought this tool, um, and I just got this tool and I bought it because I had to do one of these other kind of hacks that I'll show you, okay? This is a quarter inch ratcheting wrench and this is a very similar Torx bit. And so what I would do is put this in that quarter inch uh, ratcheting wrench put it down in there and you can see the gap is about the same, about an inch. The problem with this method is there's nothing holding the bit uh, steady. So a lot of times I'd be trying to unscrew something or screw something in and the wrench would slide through and I'd have to get it back on or it would slide off. So it was just kind of a pain in the butt. It would work, but it wasn't very efficient. The other method I would use is a small ratchet with a quarter inch socket and then put that bit in there. Now this worked slightly better because the socket would hold the bit a little bit, but again, my socket isn't magnetic, so it wouldn't really hold it in there. And you can also see our profile has suffered now. We're at about two inches, okay? So that is the reason that I bought this tool. You can see it's magnetic, it takes a little effort to pull it out there. It holds it flush back, gives you about an inch profile, and it can fit into tight spaces. It's also very advantageous with the number of different bits that it came with. So a couple instances where I found having a tool like this would have been useful. Um, I recently released a video on the fuel shutoff solenoid, and you'll see in parts of that video, there's a couple bolts to move the throttle bracket out of the way to get access to the fuel shutoff solenoid where you need something like this, very low profile that can get into that tight space. Another instance where this tool is going to be great is getting some of the kick panel trim off, especially on the driver's side. There's a couple of the screws on the driver's side kick panel in the first gens that are blocked by the parking brake assembly and are very difficult to access. But this tool is low profile enough to get up in there and loosen those couple screws so that you don't have to remove your parking brake assembly in order to get that kick panel off. Another uh, cool thing I like about it is if you take the other end, it can be used kind of as a screwdriver, okay? So take that for what it is. It's not the selling point of the tool, but it's kind of a clever little part of it. So this is a tool I would highly recommend. 
Uh, like I said, I've put the link to this in the description below. Check that out. Also, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. What are some of the tools that you use in your garage that may not be very common, but you found some very good use for? Before you leave, like this video. That really helps out and helps share this video to other people that may benefit from it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.